Okay. Now, what should be done to circumvent or to avoid the stability issue? Now, to do that, what we do is we introduce something known as implicit Euler's method. So, from now on, the previous method that we discussed, the, the Euler's method we discussed, that will be known as your explicit Euler's method. And from now on, the second method, there will, there will be two Euler's method. One is explicit and one is implicit. So what we are going to discuss now is implicit. So to circumvent those stability issue, okay, what we do is we introduce implicit method. So when you say implicit, that means unknown is going to be on both sides of the equation. So if you see here in explicit Euler's unknown was only on the left hand side. Okay, this was known, this was known. But an implicit method unknown will be on both the side. That means what we are going to do, we are going to write down yi plus 1 is equal to yi plus f xi plus 1 and yi plus 1 to h. So this is known as what? Your implicit Euler. And when you write it down like this, this is known as your explicit Euler. So explicit Euler is no, also known as forward Euler. Implicit is also known as backward Euler. So let us check the stability of uh, implicit Euler method. So if you want to check the stability of implicit Euler method, we can say yi plus 1 is equal to yi plus fxi plus 1, yi plus 1, that means in this equation we are going to take i plus 1, that is this is going to be minus lambda instead of yi which we used to take in explicit Euler, we will take yi plus 1 into h. Now let us, so if you see, there are unknown on both the side. Yi plus 1 is the value that we, we want to calculate. Okay, and if you see, it is coming on both the sides of the equation. It is on the left hand side also and the right hand side also. So if you rearrange this, you will find out, if you take this on the left hand side, you will find out this comes out to be 1 plus lambda into h is equal to yi. And this is going to be yi plus 1 yi divided by 1 plus lambda into h. So for simplicity at present I have taken lambda is equal to 1. So okay before before doing that now if you see this equation this is always going to be less than 1. Okay this this ratio that is 1 divided by 1 plus lambda into h that ratio is going to decrease so if you take any value of h that is greater than 0 so obviously step size has to be greater than 0 whatever value of step size we are going to take is going to be greater than 0 so whatever value you take you will realize this value is always going to be less than 1 so that means your implicit Euler's method is unconditionally stable. That means whichever value of h you take, it is always going to be stable. So, but the only disadvantage here is in implicit Euler method, you have unknown on both the sides. So obviously this was a very trivial problem, but in complex problems, when you have uh, unknowns on both the sides, what you will be getting will be system of equations. So you will have to solve system of equations. But 
one good thing is it is unconditionally stable that means whatever value of h you take it's going to be stable but when you talk about explicit euler it is conditionally stable that means you have to provide a value of h that lies between this limit and that should be stable so that is why it is conditionally stable and this is unconditionally stable so now in the next lecture what we are going to do uh, we, next segment i mean we are going to solve a problem by using implicit euler method okay in fact we'll solve two problems one one problem i think will take a simple problem and then we'll move on to a complex problem and we'll see how to solve it anyways thank you